Today I'm going to be testing out and trying this Dip Delicious Remover Gel and see if it really works to remove my Builder Gel. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we were carried Welcome back nail queens. If you are new here, my name is Carolinette and I like to review things and sometimes do manis. Anyways, this is the Dipalicious Nails Remover Gel. It is supposed to remove dip powder, gel polish, and nail polish, and I'm wearing builder gel, so I really want to see if it removes my builder gel. So here are the directions for use and ingredients in case you're interested. Basically, you're supposed to put on a coat of it, let it sit on your nail for three minutes, and then use a cuticle pusher tool to scrape off the gel polish. So the consistency of this product is kind of like hair gel, but not sticky the way hair gel is. So just think of the consistency like hair gel, just definitely not sticky. So what I'm going to do is paint on a layer onto my nail, trying my hardest to avoid my skin. I don't know if this is harmful for skin. Either way, you shouldn't be getting any type of nail products on your skin. So we're painting this on, and then I'm going to let it sit for three minutes. I'm actually going to set a timer. I have my phone right here. I'm going to set it for three minutes, and don't worry, you don't have to sit through all three minutes. It's going to be fast forwarded. You're welcome. Do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry Everything's the same We'll try to know This time we're not safe and sound So the first coat has already set on my nails for three minutes. Uh, it doesn't look like anything interesting happened, so I guess that's good news because imagine if there was like bubbling, that would be scary. Anyways, I'm going to use this cuticle pusher tool and just scrape off this layer. If you've ever soaked off gel polish uh, or builder gel before, you know that this is not abnormal to have to scrape off the builder gel or the gel after it's been soaking for a little while. So for it to only have to soak for three minutes with this tool, this really cool um, remover gel is not bad. So I'm scraping with the cuticle pusher tool and it got a pretty good layer off. As you can tell, it didn't take everything off. So I'm going to apply a second layer on the directions. It says repeat as necessary. I believe that's what it says. Hold on, let me actually check it. Repeat until all layers of the nail enhancement have been removed. So I'm just gonna reapply this for another coat and wait another three minutes. Let's see how many layers it takes in order to effectively remove my entire builder gel. Three minutes and go. Meanwhile, <laughs> okay, so I figured while I was waiting, and you're waiting too, we could just sit here and stare at this gorgeous glitter that's on my right hand. I'm wearing some colors. Like, is it, you know what, what's the verdict? Is this blue or is this purple? Because I definitely think it's blue, like an indigo electric blue, but I know some people feel like it's purple. Either way, look at that sparkle. I love it. All right, back to the countdown. All right, layer two, nothing interesting has happened again, nothing to report, except for the second layer of pushing with the cuticle pusher seems to be a little softer, a little easier to do than the first coat was. So that's good news, I'm really excited about that. Probably won't have to cuticle push for as long. I am trying to be careful though to not push too hard. Um, that's why I'm changing to a downward motion because I don't want my cuticle pusher to jam right into my skin because of all the pressure I'm applying. So this one actually like it really did come off pretty easily. So I'm going to apply another layer because I'm very close to my nail bed but I'm not completely there. So I feel like one more coat is all it's going to take to get really really close to my nail bed and really get the rest off of my nail bed. So I'm gonna set a night, another timer and wait another three minutes. 
So think about it like this. So if I'm doing three coats at three minutes a coat, that's nine minutes and pushing about a minute per layer for three coats, that's 12 minutes. So 12 minutes of soaking and removing for one finger. So I imagine if I did this for every single nail at the same exact time, like I put the remover on every single nail at the same exact time, I would be doing nine minutes of soaking and then, gosh, five minutes, five, 10, 15, 15, like 30 minutes of this per hand. I, I mean, I usually don't remove my builder gel except for like once every few months. So this really isn't bad because I've soaked in acetone for a lot longer than this takes. So this is a win in my book for what it takes to remove the builder gel off my nail versus soaking in acetone. So I'm gonna take a hand file and gently buff off what I feel is remaining. I feel like there's like a very thin coat of builder gel still left on my nail. And yep, it is. It's a very, very, very thin coat. So easy, I was able to peel this off, but don't do that at home. Do not peel off your builder gel. Do not do what I did. Don't peel it off, don't lift it, don't pick at it. That's a bad no-no. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just gently file. Um, I feel like filing takes forever, and this is a really good example of why I don't like to file shape or buff on camera, because I am always out of shot when I'm doing any filing, shaping, or buffing on my manis and I'm recording it. I'm never in frame and it's really, really difficult to be in frame. So I hope you guys understand why that's usually not a process I show in my videos because I'm never in shot, no matter how hard I try. Two hours later. Okay, so I'm pretty much at my nail bed. There is some crusties and little remaining bits of builder gel on there. I should probably just swipe it off with acetone. Just really just get that remaining gunk off my nail, but I'm pretty impressed with this remover. So if you were wondering if it works, for me it took three layers to get it to completely remove my builder gel. Other than that, I'm just really, really impressed with this product. I still don't have to use acetone on my nails and that is always a win in my book. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if there's anything else you'd like me to review, drop it in the comments below.